Hi, this is video 112, where we're gonna optimize data. This is the part, the first part of this is where we're gonna use our flash maker function to convert drawn paths into real flashes. In earlier videos, you saw that we can display the draws and the flashes in two different colors. If I do that on this particular job, I see that the SMD paths are showing up. And if I do the skeleton view, we see that they are all painted, filled up. Um, not ideal if we want to do any kind of edits on. So what we want to do is we want to convert these into real flashes. In this particular case, we have the same situation also on the masks. I'm actually going to do the mask first. And the reason why you typically want to do that is that if you, the masks typically don't have any traces, no, no fill areas um, most of the time. And if we do the masks first, then we can use the mask to help us out on the actual outer copper layers. So let's do tools. Editing flash maker is the function. The first stage is find find will will go and through the job and it will find everything that's painted and it will suggest models for us replacements so if i go in here and i say okay show me where this is so i can use these arrows show me the first one the next one and so on and so forth typically you only look at the first one so we see that this is a rectangle and it proposes to replace that with a rectangle of 21.8 by 64 and there's going to be 88 of them so that's that number i can go to the next model which is another rectangle typically what do we want to do is the reason why we stop at this stage and not just blindly replace is that we want to give you the opportunity to go through this list and to see if we have any um, features that are painted but we don't want to um, replace with flashes and when we're going to do the copper layers, this will become clear. In this particular case, this is the mask. We're just going to go ahead and replace. So that's it. That's how you, you do a flash maker. Very quick, very easy. So let's now do concentrate on the coppers. Now for the copper layers, I'm actually going to go, since I know that uh, in this particular case, we have these inner layers where we were provided with thermals that actually aren't real thermals. They are built up and not even very nice. Um, I'm going to include that layer also in my flash baker routine. So I'm going to run it on both of these. So I'm going to back on my flash maker. And in my setup, I'm going to tell it now, use the masks. And we can even filter that out and say, okay, only propose models that are com partially uh, or completely free of mask or completely free of mask. Don't give me anything that's only partially free of mask. We have the ability, since some uh, systems are, are not doing a very good job with the painting area, we can fill in a little bit of a tolerance here. We can say, okay, if, if, um, if a feature is within half this case half a mil because that's my unit then it's uh, pull it all into the same replacement flash that that uh, helps us to reduce the number of flashes if they're very close we can also do a uh, minimum size here a maximum size um, i'm going to leave this to the default of 200 mils and i'll just leave it at that we also have the ability to select things first and then do the flash maker only on the selections in this particular case we, we want to do it on the entire layer so find well there is no active mask layers that's what it told me so let's do this again see it tells us no models found because there are no active masks because i told it that i wanted to use the masks so there we go i use this now we have uh, and of course for the inner layer it's going to tell us that if you want to force that with the masks that isn't going to work 
So fine, we'll do this one in a separate step. So now in this particular case, we can go through and say, okay, next, next, next. This should all be very similar to what we've seen for the mask. So I'm just gonna go and re replace. Now you don't strictly have to use the mask if you don't want to. I mean, a lot of people actually are not bothering using the masks. So they never go in this menu. Um, because as you see, it, it does force you to uh, really have a mask. And if you wanna run this on the inner layers, you don't really have that. So let's run find over here and see what we've got. So we actually see complex because again, the shape is too irregular. So it cannot, it can only make us into a complex shape. Uh, we have a bigger one and then we have a box. So here is an example of it's showing this because this is a painted feature that could actually be a flash. In this particular case, however, it's not something that I want to replace, even though on the inner layer, it's not critical. This is not supposed to be a flash. So I'm going to delete it out of my list. Now I could just go ahead and say replace on these because we do, I mean, for netless purposes and working with the system, we do not really need to have these as thermals, but this is to show you also that you have basically the ability to um, make things a little nicer is we can click on edit here. And from the video uh, 111, where you created the apertures, you will see that uh, we've, we've created apertures, uh, uh, real thermals over here. So what I can do is I have the outside. So I'm gonna start with that, 70. I'm gonna guess that the inside is 20. Um, the gap, I'm gonna guess it's 10. And 45, this is clear. Now the, these are rounded at the end. So I'm gonna choose my rounded model and I'm gonna say apply. What the, um, oh, of course, that wouldn't make sense. There we go. Now we see here in the flash maker, we see a preview, the green area is the model that it's gonna use. So we need a little bit bigger gap. So let's just add it that, there we go. So we're gonna, if I tell it to use this, so all of this, painted area or like roughly drawn thermal will be replaced with a real thermal aperture. And we could do the same thing for the other one, but for the purpose of keeping this video short, I'm just gonna go and do replace. You see, we have a nice thermal where before, if I click on do, rough and nice and clean. And with the added advantage that if I would need to change for production reasons, this uh, aperture, I could always go in here and say, oh, you know what? I, we actually need a little bit more gap over here. So you can easily add that. It's a lot easier to edit this than it is to edit that complex aperture. Although it can be done. That is the FlashMaker.